So you probably heard of Kedi, obviously, Marte, Gnome, Alex T, all of these interfaces, Cinnamon, etc. But if you go back in time, a lot of one of their predecessors is something called CDE, Common Desktop Environment. You can see here's a bit of Wikipedia article on what it looked like, and it will used to be a proprietary desktop interface. And that was quite often used on Unix, Unix like OSs, and OpenVMS. And of course, in 2000, no, it, it was regarded the desktop standard at the time for Unix based systems. And long ago, in about 1997, it was available on uh, Red Hat Linux. But it eventually got phased out over the years and was replaced by more modern suits such as KDE and Known, etc. Uh, but have you ever wondered what it would look like today, CTE? I mean, if you think about it, this is an environment where it was first released over 30 years ago. And strangely enough, had a stable release last year, October. Well, let me show you what this looks like. Okay, so let me show you how we can... Uh, get the common desktop environment and use it today. I'm using Sparky Linux, which is a Debian based distro. And here we're going to go, we're going to just add update. We're going to do a sudo apt install CDE dash desktop and install it and I think it's about 230 megs uh, of stuff to download. Uh, why Sparky? Uh, this seems to be one of the easiest ways to use the, still use the CDE environment and uh, at least here you don't have to do any other dependency finding as you would have to do if, if you were to try to install this on Ubuntu or something. Yeah, it's installed. Let's right click here and just go to exit. Let's just log out. Change it to CDE, common desktop environments. Log in. And here you go. This is the CDE or common desktop environment, which of course was popular 30 years ago. And immediately as you start, some things haven't really changed. But one, two, three, four or virtual desktop environments. And firstly, if you right click on the desktop, you get these options here, shuffle down, refresh, restart, log out. And uh, I'm gonna have just to minimize this. Oh. And if you minimize an application or something, you'll see it goes here onto the left-hand side. So I'm just going to restore this. And this basically is the file manager. So you go to your desktop and you can open in a new view so you can go you can say a new file so you can say test and with the data file and that's of course going to be on the desktop and you could print it you could help you could choose which workspace you want to put it in and you can change the files permissions etc uh print is shouldn't it's not going to do anything. We don't have any printers installed here. And when the desktop environment, of course, is thinking of flashes, it's yellow over there. I'm just going to, if I press this, I maximize it. If I press this, I minimize. And I minimize, and that's the file, of course, on the desktop. And to open it, double click, and it opens it up. So, hello, this is a test file. And couple of settings, really basic, just talking about margins. Editing file, you can close that. I'll save the file. Okay, here, uh, 
At the bottom, we have uh, the trash can. Pretty self-explanatory, really. Uh, if I go test into here, I can either put the file back, or I can shred it. So I'm put back. Therefore, go back to one of the desktop environments. Uh, if I click on this thing, I get a documentation list of user's guide, some of the basic skills. And for example, how to click on a mouse, how to double click, uh, all these type of things that we take to, for granted today. Browse, search, scope, query, editor, options, windows. I was gonna press this, which seems to minim which seems to minimize. So this minimizes, and then to close, you would either go out for or you would close there. This thing over here is the application manager. Kind of has a almost a Windows three point one interface feeling going on here. I can drag this, and of course, this is the modern applications that we have installed. So if I go up here, you'll see normal calc and on LibreOffice. Of course, unfortunately, uh, it won't load easily. The apps are installed. Uh, so why it won't load, I have absolutely no clue. Seema just can't read the permission files correctly. Uh, open parent folder. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's uh, just weird. A view. Set view options. You can change it to a tree. And of course, this keeps opening things in new windows. So I just do this. I keep minimizing. Uh, and of course, I go back. Just to click over here. We go to information. Desktop introduction and. It has that info because this is part of CDE. If I go back, let's say I want to try Emacs. That's not going to open. I don't actually know how to fix that. On here, uh, Siemens just different than how it was intended to be from all those years ago. Uh, over here would be the printer setup, printers, view, set options, and when it stops, only my print job. Uh, close that. Uh, email, or mailer. So basically, if you wanted to send emails, you would open up mailer. This thing here is just the text editor again, which we can close. So over here is the style manager. So the style manager allows me to adjust the colors. So let's say, for example, I want to change it to desert or something else. I could select that and it would take effect at uh, every login. Font, a backdrop. So let's say I want these. This is some really old school uh, type of wallpapers. Wow. How uh, technology has come forward. Sheesh, okay. Uh, wow. Uh, keyboard. Click for the go mouse. Uh, can test to a number click there. Uh, if you write your left handed. At the speed of the mouse, beep. Or oh, yeah. doesn't do that on the virtual machine. Screen, I assume this could be screen set. So, interesting screen set. This is going on here. Okay. Uh, window. So if you want to point a window to make active, click a window to make active. This one is icon, so use an icon box. And start up, do you want a confirmation to log out? And do you want to 
restore the home session. Eight. Yeah, yeah. So if I click on clock. Let's say add sub panel. Nothing seemed to go. There's a calendar. Um, a ring, which uh, not too many options here. A couple of errors coming up. Understandable. Talent options. And of course, you're getting the entry. Just double click. Test. Entry. Or oh. CBE. Insert, I guess. Oh, unfortunately, it doesn't say we have to cool, so there is a couple of errors coming up. And this is basically it. The, the environment. If you click on it like I did, I just minimized it. So if you click on this, it minimizes it. Double click again, it maximizes it. And uh, that... Uh, it takes you to the classic clock lock screen. You just type in the password to where you log in and to exit to log out. You're going to hit exit and come on and turn your log out. And everyone, that's the C common desktop environment. I'm going to say thank you for watching and leave a comment below. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.